Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, I'm gonna go through why it's so important to mow your yard one last time, as well as upkeep your yard right before winter comes to keep out pests this winter. So one thing that a lot of people don't necessarily think about is that their yard can actually be a great place for a lot of different pests to live and survive, especially during the winter. You know, many people think that most pests just die out during the winter, but if you don't take the proper precautions and upkeep of your yard, you can actually let a lot of them survive during the winter and then also give them easier access into your home. So what happens is a lot of people, they kind of wait until the last minute to mow their lawn or they let their grass get longer as winter approaches because they figure, why bother, right? Why bother clean up the leaves? Why bother mowing my grass one last time? You know, it's just going to snow soon. Well, what's the point, right? And so what can happen is if you leave your yard like that, it can attract a lot of pests. So for example, in really tall grass, various pests like ticks and fleas can survive among other things, ants, fire ants, and more depending on where you live. That's one issue, but another issue that can happen is that if you leave your grass long and it does snow, it actually creates a barrier underneath the snow where a lot of pests can actually survive. So, you know, as temperatures drop and it becomes colder and colder, there's even several pests that can survive in that colder climate and temperatures because closer to the ground because of that barrier it's actually a lot warmer so they can survive they'll come up during the day when it's sunny and things like ticks for example will become far more aggressive to try and get that last meal possible as their food sources dwindle as winter comes and sets in so again it's a very important to mow your yard keep the grass short at least one last time before winter comes to prevent that and at the same time when you do that it eliminates that gap in between the snow and the ground where again more than just insect type pests live other pests like rodents moles and voles can actually hang out there as well now a lot of times you don't necessarily think of these pests being winter pests but what happens is if you leave your grass long and you create that barrier or again, it doesn't need to necessarily just be grass. It could be things like leaf piles, excess leaves around your yard, uh, debris, whatever the case might be. If you leave those different piles out there, what can happen is it can create all these different safe havens for these pests. So rodents, like moles and voles, various things like that can hang out in those areas. And then what happens is you might be you know, leaving your garage door open to like, go warm up the car, right? Or you open the door and you have it open too long or you prop it open, bringing in Christmas goodies and packages and Christmas trees or other things, right? Uh, moving in and out of your home as the holidays come around, whatever the case might be. And you might have those doors open for a long time. Well, these pests can actually try and get into your house at that point. So if they do, they can cause a lot of issues very quickly. So Cleaning up debris around your home, cleaning out gutters, eliminating those tall grasses around your yard and eliminating those harborage points and safe zones under the snow is very important for keeping pests out this winter. So it might not seem like a big deal to let your grass grow a little longer or to not clean up those leaves, but in reality it can lead to a lot of different pest issues for your home this winter. So again, take, keep that in mind. Definitely take advantage of one last time cleaning up your yard, mowing the yard, and you can do a lot to eliminate pest issues this winter in your home. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you do have specific pest issues or maybe you're looking to set up a maintenance program, be sure to reach out to us over at Rove Pest Control. And if you happen to be a first time customer, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, for all your pest control needs, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then again, as a first time customer, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get that great discount. But thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you more soon.